Hello everyone, Darko2012 here with Global Government News, and I am reading an article titled Anthrax Contaminated Heroin Spreads, and this story right off the bat just uh, reeks of eugenics. Um, you know, how the fuck does anthrax get into heroin? Um, you know, I don't know how many people remember the um, heroin that went around in Chicago um, maybe three, four years ago, I don't know, time flies now, but, yeah, there's a big bad batch of heroin that went around, uh, in Chicago, killed a lot of people, I mean, it was deadly, and, uh, so we, I think most of us in, that are, uh, privy to the CIA dealing in the drug trade to fund their unconstitutional wars, um, also, um, the bankers, Chase Manhattan and all them, the city group who funded the Nazis and all that, Nazi banks, um, are also in the drug trade. And down in Mexico, you can see, uh, yeah, obviously the, the government doesn't really run anything. The government is run by the cartels, and the, and the cartels, um, where basically there was, a lot of them were squ uh, squashed out of competition, um, the smaller ones that were allowed to exist uh, because the bankers are consolidating everything. They're consolidating uh, all of their power and their wealth and their banking industry, their drug industry. And so uh, these are just one of those little things that happen, right? Where anthrax, oh, anthrax and heroin. Uh, British authorities today warned drug users that heroin in London was highly likely to be contaminated with anthrax after a first confirmed case uh, there in the following nine deaths in Scotland. Quote, while public health investigators are ongoing, it must be assumed that all heroin in London carries the risk of anthrax contamination, said Dr. Brian McCloskey, who is the director of the Health Protection Agency, HVA, in London. Heroin users are advised to cease taking heroin by any route, if at all possible, and to seek help from their local drug treatment services. Right. Um, McCloskey added that the risk to the general population was negligible. Anthrax has been found in 19 heroin users in Scotland since December, and nine of those people died, six of them in the Glasgow area. The first case in London was confirmed yesterday, and the user was in a hospital receiving treatment. Uh, similarities to the cases in Scotland suggest that the heroin, or a contaminated cutting agent uh, mixed with the heroin, is likely the source of infection. Last month, the French Health Ministry issued a warning about contaminated heroin, noting the Scottish cases and the other case in Germany, and saying that the drug could also be circulating in other European countries. Anthrax is a potentially lethal bacterium that exists naturally in the soil and can also occur among cattle. It is also more uh, notoriously a potential bioweapon. I'm glad that they threw that in there for all of us stupid people, right? Uh, but yeah, so then you got what? You have the U.S. Army guarding the poppy fields. One of the first things they did, like in Iraq, the first thing they did uh, was uh, take control of the oil wells and refine, and I don't know, not refineries, but the oil wells themselves and that. And uh, so the first thing they did in Afghanistan was take control of the poppy fields. So you have U.S. soldiers actually guarding the main export, the main uh, crop agriculture, agricultural uh, export that the Afghans had as far as their economy goes. So we went in there and we uh, basically took it over and uh, that will help fund the wars that we're using, all those nice fancy drones that we use to fly over and bomb people in Afghanistan who are trying to defend themselves to get us out of their country. And uh, so it, it's all a big full circle. It all goes round and round and round we go. And um, so, yeah, maybe uh, maybe this anthrax would just uh, happen to be naturally made. And, uh, you know, maybe the chemtrails are really just contrails and fluoride's good for you. And, and uh, yeah, so. But, uh, yeah, just one last point here is uh, the bankers are eugenicists. And they, uh, all, they're all about population control. And, uh, you know, they make you think like, the biggest reason, for, you know, they make you um, almost take their side as far as there being too many people on the planet. 
and not enough food. It's it's kind of believable when you uh, you know at face value when you look at it and you realize that there's plenty of food to go around that. There's people with abundance, and then there's people with nothing, and that there's no real balance. And, uh, so, yeah, so they don't really believe that there's, uh, too many people. It's just their kind of front, their cover for, uh, the real agenda, which is to call the population, at least down, you know, minus 80% of what it currently is, uh, at least, you know, 6 billion to f 2 billion. And they do it in all forms, um, especially in your food. Um, but I would recommend to most people out there that um, do use recreational drugs to uh, probably, you might want to start thinking about uh, stopping um, pretty soon. Um, not to preach or anything, but, you know, most of this stuff is coming through them. And they control the drug trade. Like I said, intelligence agencies are the ones that dole it out. So it's... Uh, and that's used to fund our enslavement. So not only are you uh, supporting that, but then you're also, you know, um, setting yourself up to become uh, another statistic of the new world order, right? But uh, it's all the only reason they want to call the population really is because there's too many uh, mouths, as they say, too many mouths to feed, uh, or just too many mouths, right? And there's too many people to control. It's harder, it's easier to control when there's less people, obviously. So, um, they're going to have a great purge here in the near future. And uh, let's just hope, you know, let's just try to not be part of that and, and volunteer to be part of that. So, that's all I have to really say about that besides, you know, here you go, U.S. government uh, used uh, biological weapons legislator says 2001 attack, anthrax attacks, part of government bio program. And that was a very credible person. Francis Boyle, um, who's very uh, high up there in the academic field, a scholar, and, uh, and he, you know, he basically says that uh, 2001 anthrax um, was uh, manufactured out of Fort Detrick in Iowa, uh, Fort Detrick, Maryland, I believe. Um, so, anyways, uh, just uh, thanks for checking this out. And as Nancy Reagan said, just say no.